Now notice how this person appears, this false prophet. It says there in the verse 13, it said, or verse 11, it says, and he had two horns like a lamb, but spoke like a dragon. The appearance of a lamb and a voice like a dragon. What is a lamb? Cuddly, soft, nice, sweet. Even in Old Testament, it's a sacrificial lamb. In the New Testament, a sacrificial lamb, a place of of religion in the sense of lifting up a sacrifice. There's no crowns on the horns. Remember the Antichrist had crowns on the horns, which showed political power of bringing together a confederation of nations. So there's no political power here. It's a religious power and sweet, sweet, sweet appearance of a lamb. One commentator commentator put it like this about the false prophet. He will have, there will be a dynamic appeal of the false prophet. It will lie in his skill to combine political expediency with religious passion. Self-interest with benevolent philanthropy, lofty sentiment with blatant sophistication, moral platitude with unbridled self-indulgence. His arguments will be subtle, convincing, appealing. His oratory will be hypnotic for he will be able to move the masses into to tears and to whip them into a frenzy. His deadly appeal will lie in the fact that what he says will sound so right so sensible and so exactly what unregenerate men have always wanted to hear. So here he is as the false prophet, as a lamb, but with a voice of a dragon. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.